just so pretty. This is the busy road. We've got all these beautiful flowers. Happy elephants. So, this is looking for me. But look in there, look how pretty that is. All these lanterns. All right, let's just go for a walk. Okay, so while well, I got distracted looking at that temple, Chris is obviously hungry, so he's gone and found somewhere gorgeous to have breakfast. And it's so pretty. And it's called the Garden House Cafe. So let's just have a little look in here. How beautiful is that? Let's go find him. It's so pretty. Hi, here I am. Wow, it's so pretty. Hello. Okay, so today we're going for a bit of a trek up the Monk's Trail. Not sure what's at the top of it, but getting the heart rate up a bit today. So it's pretty crazy. We decided to do this in the middle of the day. Anyway, we've got some water. We've got some food when we get to wherever we're getting to. Yeah. Of Chiang Mai. So, stopping halfway up for a quick bite to eat, drink, and a chill because we're pretty unfit at the moment. <laughs> Do something about that when we get home. But we're still living out there, so. Yeah, no, it's beautiful up here, nice and tranquil. So what do we got done? We have um, sticky rice. Sticky rice. Oh. Sticky rice in there. Some, some shrimp balls. Oh, that's the, yeah, and shrimp balls. And then, must like, have been big shrimps. Must have 
thing. I like big shrimps. They give me big shrimp balls. <laughs> <laughs> All right, that's it. Okay, now we're following the... Uh, we're following the trail. Following the trail. The orange monk's cloth. Yep. Okay. Yep. It's pretty steep here. Okay. It's pretty steep. Yeah. So interesting times we followed a guide that said go up this track and then you uh, look out for the orange markers which were bits of rag so we found some orange markers and we followed them and then that took us right off track and not even a footpath in the end and it was pretty full-on but we found our way up to the top of the hill just using a downloaded map because there's no internet. And uh, here we are, a little Buddha statue at the top of this particular hill. And Chiang Mai back down that way, can't see it through the trees. Anyway, nothing like an afternoon adventure, getting lost in the middle of Chiang Mai jungle. Alright, let's walk around here a little bit and then walk down the road on the way back rather than the um, off piste. Yeah. Um, there's another piece though. Yeah, there's like, yeah, there's one just down the road according to my map. Oh, down. Yeah. So I'm sure these people are a little bit surprised when we um, <laughs> appeared out in the bush. <laughs> At the back of their houses. A couple of grey-haired oldies just walking out. Yeah. So gorgeous. Don't want me to be behind you, huh? So after lots of walking, we found it to the temple that we were supposed to find without going off the road. And um, obviously the right one, because there's lots more tourists here. Where we were before, there was no one. <clears throat> anyway, so we now know the track to head back down to find our bike again. So we're gonna hit the road again shortly. After just catching our breath for a few minutes, it's been nice. So I'll just take a bit of a video of where we're sitting. and. Um, yeah, it's, it's a nice pretty sort of area. So from where we're sitting, we can look down to Chiang Mai there. And then there's a few wooden temples just around about statues. Dragons that fly away. Lots of people. Chicadas. So we're going to follow the track back down now and make our way back to our bike.
Ya. <laughs> so this is if you come in this track, don't go up there and follow the orange. So that's where we detoured off and then we went off in a wild goose chase. Oh We're goodness. up this path. It was an, another three, four hundred meters up there to the temple that we were looking for. And that took us an extra hour up that way. <laughs> So here we are at the top of the hill, looking down over Chiang Mai. Beautiful. So here we are, we come to the top of the mountain behind Chiang Mai. And you can see Chiang Mai behind us. So we've just walked around the temple, the side. And that side here, and before we head down the mountain again, but uh, yeah, no beautiful really piece of came to drive up here. Okay, so we're all set up for a trip up to Maritza's homestay, which is in a place called May Win, about 45 minutes away from uh, 45 kilometres, which probably takes about an hour and a half to two hours. It easy. Um, be good to get out of the city into some country life, it would be nice. And uh, we're all set up. We've got our bags and everything. We dropped a bag off this morning about 45 minutes away at our next accommodation, but we didn't want to be carrying too much on the bike. Anyway, so it um, should be a little uh, um, oh, trip, country ride up the hills to our next destination. Yeah. Uh, so we take a bit of footage on the road while we're driving. And uh, we will see you in the next place. Bye. Okay. Bye. So um, after an hour and a bit on the bike, we've pulled into this beautiful little uh, cafe shack on the side of the road. Yeah, I'll show it. And the first thing the guy asked us when we put off our bikes was if we wanted whiskey or beer. So we've opted for beer. Cheers. And shandy. I'm having shandy. And we've asked for something to eat, so I'm not sure what we're going to get because there definitely is a bit of a language barrier here. Oh, chicken. 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 Well, we said chicken, and hopefully, but he was pointing at the river when he said chicken. So. Anyway, we'll see what we get. But it's a beautiful little spot here by the river. So that...
so cozy in there. Hi. Made me look so cozy in there. Mm. You're sleeping. to the edge. So after a couple of hours of uh, driving out of Chiang Mai, we have, whoops, I dropped my phone. We have ended up at our destination, which is called Maritza's Homestay Resort. Anyway, it's a really beautiful spot, so I think we're going to have a great relaxing few days here. So there's our classy scooter. It's got us all the way up here. A bit of a pan around the gardens. Okay, then we come up to our rooms so some nice relaxing spots here hammock I'm sure we'll get some use of that nice little bed another little day bed and then through to our Very cozy. No goats, we've got chickens. Another goat over there. Another goat over there. Yeah. What's been calling out? We'll go and talk to him in a minute. A little pond with some fishies in it and a goat. Uh, we're just going to work out what we're going to do for the next couple of days to um, keep ourselves busy in this place. 